it's Kat here. How are you all? Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, so it's been a while since I posted a video. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, there's so many reasons, but um, what can I say? Sometimes life just happens, but we're all doing well. Um, Mike, my partner, actually was on holidays for four weeks, so we just chilled out and... Um, it was just nice not kind of really having to rush around and you know the whole work routine so he's gone back to work and it's just taken me a while to kind of get back into it again but here we are um i just thought i would just film this little haul that i got today when i went to spotlight now i went to um the innerloo um spotlight in perth wa and i was really surprised at how empty the shelves were i don't know what the deal is there whether they just had a big sale or whether their um socks are really low because they're struggling to get stock in i don't know but i was kind of really surprised at how like there was so little of everything so if, if you know what's going on there guys you know just put a comment down below i'd love to to know what that's all about but um these are some bits and pieces that i got today um i just went through and i just um thought well, i'll have some of that i'll have some of that so i got um this um it's cool oh, it's obviously tim holt's ideology and it's mirrored it's actually two pieces of mirrored cardstock um and it's got a protective film and it is literally like a mirror so um i did have an idea for it i was going to die cut and maybe use it as a background for, for like a mirrored um image but um given how shiny it is because i have opened it up to have a look i think i might save that and do like one of the vignette projects um down the line so um anyway i grabbed that because it was literally the last thing hanging <laughs> there and I, I thought oh um that might be something i could die cut but um i'm thinking maybe i'll use that for something else um and then i saw this cardstock um, i'm trying to build up my stash of just plain colored cardstock because the other day i spent some time um, and this is um, Angela Kerr's idea um, and I got these um, I think these are for paint brushes um, and she die cuts out a whole lot of her wildflowers and I have done that as well they're a bit tangled because I was playing around with them the other day um, and I had a different way of storing them um, and we'll see how this one works for me because it is a bit tangled but um that's what i did i sat out sat down and with my big shot and i um i just die cut out a whole lot of um these pretty pretty colors like lovely um violets and pinks and purples and all sorts of things so um i don't i have to maybe watch that part of the video again because i don't know how she stops them from tangling up so um the other way i would store it is literally in an ephemera folder but I probably think about it it probably did tangle up a bit there anyway so i am trying to um build up my plain colored um cardstock and also i'm thinking of embossing projects um and I don't have much in the way of uh, glitter. Um, so this beautiful rose gold colour, I thought I would grab that one. So I was looking through their paper packs. And we don't have a very exciting range. Um, but this one here is not bad. Um, it's DCWV. I'm hoping I got that right. Let's have a look. Um, oh, it's American Crafts. Distributed by American Crafts made in vietnam so you guys might be or might might sort of know of this brand but um oh it's got it's got some plastic stickers on it all right let me get that open because i just kind of flicked through it um but i really quite liked oops because i thought i had a lot of card stock but when i did my craft room and put everything away i realized i actually don't have as much as i thought that i did so i thought well we could never go wrong with another pad of um printed beautiful cardstock and i'm getting into the habit of um checking out um for double sided ones because 
um, when you get the when you get the paper they're a bit thin and then they're blank on the other side and I prefer them to be double sided so look at that I thought that was how can we do this yeah so we've got that that pattern there let's so get a couple of sheets of that and that is really pretty I might turn it this way and just flick it and then you get this lovely graph paper on the other side and you get pineapples that's really pretty so everything in here they've got like little um, gold and silver I think little specks through there cut some of those out some tags I mean they're all just so lovely so um, and even that I quite liked so yeah I, I got that one there got some script I could use that for all sorts of different projects and even some card making oh that's nice it's got all vintage um they're nice you can cut those out make journal cards and things or just use them for layering so that is called botanical beauty and then i also got this um cardstock now this is sizzix and the reason I liked this is because, and I will take it out of its plastic because I can pop this away. Um, the reason I got this one was because it's got this lovely, I don't know if you can see that in the light there, uh, but it's got this lovely linen sort of um, texture on it. So um, yeah, I just wanted to build up a stash of uh, different coloured cardstock just for different die cut purposes and things so that's so that. recently I ordered this one and this is um, Tim Holt's ideology it's just called classic um, and I liked that as well because um, again it's got that lovely texture so um, it's smaller than the other lot but um, and it's a lovely craft brown on the other side so yeah I'm slowly building up but I have to say that the probably buy of the day was I went into an op shop and I got this it's uh, make it easy it's um, not really interested in the container it's more what what's inside the container and I got these lovely um, sewing cards so I'm in two minds I don't know whether I'll end up using these um, in a sewing journal oh what's that something anyway um, or whether I'll divvy them up and sell them off in packs in my Etsy shop uh, but they're all just different um, different lovely cards and they've just got all these sewing um, instructions but I thought that would look really neat in a sewing journal the extra jumbo size index cards size and you could embellish them so um, I'll have a think about that and decide what to do because I do believe that this is a full set so it might be a bit silly of me to uh, break this up but we'll see I don't want to just sit on things and hoard things either so look this is just going to be a quick and short one for me today I will get back into filming um, I have been playing around with some mixed media stuff and um, um, all, I'm working through a project at the moment so this is what I've been playing around with I um, cut out some um, put that back over there I cut out uh, the cabinet die cut and I um, was playing around with some acrylic paint and some crackle paint and then I um, was really happy with this little result I got here so I'm going to do the same thing and then put that on the back and then I found this lovely envelope so I'm going to try my best at creating a mask and um, doing the same thing here and um, somehow I'm gonna do a layer and do it I want to do a jumbo card in here and I'm gonna play around and try and do a mixed media one here so um, that's one thinking I might use that at the side for the tag to tuck out so that's something I'm playing around with at the moment so um, hopefully by the weekend I'll have that finished and um, I'll show you how that turned out so um, 
that's it from me guys um and i will see you soon bye Thank you.